Welcome to the second tutorial video in the series on how to clean up your Canvas courses and get ready for the new semester. In this second video, we'll discuss how to edit and clean up your course navigation menu, along with methods for structuring your course so it's easy for students to navigate. Let's start by going to our course settings and go to the Navigation tab. Here we can see the default visible navigation menu on top and the hidden navigation items down below. You can drag the items around on the active menu to reorder them. Or you can drag them up from the hidden area to enable them. For example, if you wanted to use the live chat tool in your courses, you would drag this chat item up and place it somewhere within the navigation menu. You could also click the three vertical dots and choose to enable the chat item. Then drag it around within the active menu until it shows up where you want it. Similarly, you can click the three dots and disable the item so that it no longer shows up in the active menu. Make sure to click Save at the bottom when you're finished making changes. If you're like me, you might be nervous about disabling any of these items, but don't worry, disabling a menu item does not mean your students can't see it. It just means that the item is grayed out, which means it's hidden from the active menu. In fact, Canvas tries to help you with this by default. For example, if you have no published modules or announcements in your course, these two items will be grayed out and hidden to students until you add content. You as the instructor can always click on navigation items, even if they're grayed out, like this. Disabling navigation items is generally recommended if you know you won't use them. In fact, the only items you definitely don't want to disable are the evaluation items down towards the bottom of the active menu, but those are hidden by default. So let's see what this might look like. Let's say this is a face-to-face -face course, and I only plan on using Canvas to take attendance and store my syllabus. That means I would disable everything except the attendance, syllabus, and evaluation items. You might also choose to leave the Get Tutoring icon available as this gives students access to free tutoring support services. Let's click Save. Now let's see the student view. This is what the course navigation looks like to my students. Pretty clean, right? Let's take a look at another common example. If you have modules set up in your course, you can use those modules to store assignments, quizzes, files, pages, and discussions. That means if you are using modules, you can automatically disable those items, which makes navigation easier for students. Let's take a deeper look at what that means. Here I'm a student in a sample two-week long course that has two discussion forums, two overview pages, two lecture pages, two assignments, and two quizzes. This course does not use any modules. That means when I view this course, this is what my navigation looks like, and I have to know to click on each of these navigation items to see the course content. Let's find the pages. Here are my overviews and my lectures. Now let's find the quizzes. Now let's find the assignments. As you can see, I'm jumping all over the course and it's much harder for me to get a handle on what I need to complete 
to be successful in my course. Let's take a look at a course that uses modules. This course has the same content as the previous one, but since it uses modules to stay organized, the assignments, quizzes, files, pages, and discussions are disabled in the menu. See how much cleaner the side menu is? And I can see all of my content here on the home page, since the course home page is set to modules by default. An added bonus is that I can go into each item and click the next button at the bottom right of each page, and it will navigate me through the course quickly and easily. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.